how to create a word search puzzle in canva hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can create a word puzzle within canva it is very easy and very simple all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go but the first thing that you need to do is to go to canva.com then sign in for your account if you don't have one it is easy to create one so when you finish signing in, you will see this dashboard. And from there, you are going to start designing your own puzzle. Now, for this one, we are going to set on the search bar right there, word puzzle, for example, puzzle like that, and see the different templates that are available. As you can see, we have a lot of templates. And also, we have some uh, designed or well-designed templates. I'm going to choose one of them, for example, and simply go ahead and click on customize this template. These are preset templates that you can go ahead and use. And also we have all of the suppositions are there. In my case, I'm going to use one of these or I can make a replica for this. Go ahead and create your own page and for that you are going to select this one i'm going to let these pages so i can take them as a reference i'm going to change the color for something like that or i'm going to use this color maybe uh, or a gradient who knows maybe this one this one is better i think and now the most important thing is to make the box or the tables so before that we are going to add some elements and within these elements i'm going to set a box or a shape like that go ahead and make it in white put it at the borders like this and simply go ahead and make something like that this is the uh, template you can go ahead and make it bigger and the bezels less like that and also for this one also make it like that and for the top and the bottom like this you only have left uh, something like that i can get i can get or add a layout for this one so you can set whatever you want or also you can add uh, some shadows or whatever you want here we have the borders you can add some borders like that you can also make the corner rounder like this as a page maybe and here we have it now we are set and good to go now the first thing that you are going to add is from elements right there put or write tables table or tables and then we are going to see the tables right there either you go ahead and set these with colors or you can set a empty ones or filled ones I'm going to choose, for example, this one. It will go well with our theme. Now, I'm going to use this, or I'm going to remove that and use this one. And in case, you can go ahead and add whatever you want for the lines. Let's say that we are going to add a line like that, another line, and we are going to set here one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say that we are going to add six lines, and also for that, we are going to add another line. Here, you can go ahead and move the row up or add another row, row like that, add another and add another one and simply add another one. Go ahead and make this like that and make the design a little bit bigger. So you are going to stretch it, make it like that and here we go. You can go ahead and set this or you can go ahead and delete one of the rows. I'm going to set it like that. I'm going to make something um, like this one. Let's go ahead and, and choose or count the rows that we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six multiplied by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That will give us normally 24 rows or 24 box at the total. So we need 24, uh, not words, but letters. 
let's say right there that we are going to uh, make some words you're going to go ahead and create some words like that i'm going to create some words let's say that we're going to set it like maybe choose some words but before that we are going to add right there i'm going to see here what is the lazy dog this is the font that i want to use so i'm going to duplicate this and put it right there in, instead of a word search i'm going to put here word puzzle like that and this is it go ahead and let it like that you can go ahead and put an effects on it neon effects or a glitch effect or an outline like that this is looking better and simply i'm going to put a uh, logo or something like that for this one but instead i am going to put here some words here we have a broad plow through i'm going to put here let's say that we are going to set some words so we are going to add some text zoom in a little bit right there and add a heading for example puzzle like that and simply make it a little bit smaller so we are going to select all of this word make it a little bit bold and i'm going to add it like that this is the first word and then we are simply going to duplicate that and take another word for example when here we have it this is the second word go ahead and put another word like i'm going to set here let's say that we are going to put uh lose after we have set the word list right there you are going simply to write all of these words and also you are going to make the lines for example for the word puzzle i have set it right there p u double z l e and also here we have the win i'm going to search for win and here we have it win and listen you can see here we have listen maybe i have said listen i'm going to replace it for something or activity here we have listen you can put it right there and also something like that i am going to put here we have as you can read uh, uh right there lose do and also we have activity act like this this is it activity and for the page right there you are going to select all of this copy it and simply paste it right there and to make this you are simply going to put it on white or something like that make it maybe like that and put the the uh as you can see the responses or the correct lines like that go ahead and click on elements put some lines lines simply are going to put this and here we have the line go ahead and put the line like this make it like that and here we have the word puzzle like that you can go ahead and put the uh the solution of it like this simply we have the word do and etc i'm going to put something like that uh, go ahead and add a line i have removed the background like that make something like this 90 degrees and here we have it something like that maybe press control to control all of the arrow like that and here we go this is just an example so we are going to align everything on the solutions and simply when you finish all of these click on share and download both of these pages as pdf deselect all and select only your page this is the current page which has the puzzle created go ahead and see it and it is like that how beautiful it is you can see and also 
for the solution, you can go ahead also and download it as a PNG. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.